G'day, Dylan O'Donnell here from the Byron Bay Observatory. It finally arrived. I've got a new telescope and you know what that means. Wall to wall clouds. Let's check out the specs of the new 40 millimeter Lunt telescope. I'll show you what my view of the sun looked like first light and let's compare it to the Coronado PSD. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you're watching Star Stuff. <laughs> Do you know what the sun and a good looking person have in common? If you use the right filters, you can look at them longer. This unboxing is literally sponsored by Bintel, Australia's biggest and favourite astronomy vendor. Go to www.bintel.com.au if you want this telescope. setting this sort of offset on an angle away from the main tube so that if I'm actually looking at the sun none of this stuff will get too hot or burn or anything like that. Put it at an offset, you're not going to be looking at the sun anyway while oh, this thing is. I'm not Michael Jackson, the sun just came out. This might be hard to see, but on the sun finder here, you can actually line up the sun visually from an angle. So when you see that disc come in, you know you're lined up. You don't have to sit here behind the scope and look up at the sun like some kind of idiot. this may be a manufacturing error, this is misaligned. I can actually almost see visually that the Soul Searcher isn't completely parallel and I discovered this to be true only after spending about half an hour trying to find the sun and wondering why it wasn't showing up in the eyepiece or on the camera when it was dead center in this finder. So that is the position where the sun is centered in my camera chip which is nowhere near the middle of this. So here's a cool trick for finding the sun initially. If you stick your finger here, the shadow should be perfectly down the barrel. You'll see it parallel to the rest of the tube. And then just slew in until the shadow perfectly covers the front of the scope. And you will be very close to the middle. So this is a cool little scope. There's really only a few things you need to know about. This is where you tune and see the surface level detail that you want. The blocking filter, I believe, is here, which is B600 on this one. Uh, upgradable to B1200, I believe. Uh, that is on the way. You do focus around here. Only after you've got coarse focus by adjusting the length here, you do the fine focus here. So now we're looking at the sun. I guess I need an eyepiece. I guess I'll have to go find one. Found the sun. Now I just have to focus. And clouds. Oh wow. Okay, cool. I can see flares on the edge of the sun now. That looks bonkers. Yeah, this will be great for outreach. Um, if I can see this level of detail with my eyes, obviously is going to be much better with the camera.
pretty good, right? But is it the Coronado PST killer? I have to say the Coronado PST does have a better sun searcher. Maybe mine's faulty. I think the setup overall though for that is just better on the PST. It's got this wide circle. You can look down on it instead of looking up through the tube. It's just nicer. For everything else though, I think the Lunt has it. The images that I were getting are just better quality than the ones that I got out of the same focal length Coronado PST. It is a better solar telescope. And the fact that you can upgrade the blocking filter as well, which I'll be doing later, means that there's a little bit more of an upgrade path that you can take with this telescope. As far as solar telescopes go, it's a very small, inexpensive telescope. Starting at just over $1,000 here in Australia, uh, an equivalent 60 millimeter version would be closer to $3,000. So the fact that you can get a nice starter solar scope at such a small price that really performs very well, I think it's great. Now, a funny thing happened while I was filming this video. In fact, it happened while I was editing the video. I noticed something different about my face. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got three new dots here. Now, I don't have the greatest skin at the best of times, but these are unusual. These have occurred in about four or five days and they are not going away. I believe they are sunspots. So I've booked in an appointment at a skin cancer clinic tomorrow to have them checked. Maybe like Icarus, I've flown too close to the sun, but at least I've got some good photos to show for it. My name is Dylan O'Donnell. You've been watching Star Stuff. Remember, everything is meaningless and we're all going to die.